In today's video, I drill my finger, change background color from blue to black, solder three resistors together. In addition, I add the smoke effect for fun. I will fill the model with a real coil and glue some vegetation. Hello fellow modelers. This time something unusual. I decided to finish a few old unfinished kits. So the first one is this cute German Kriegslokomotiv BR86. I started assembling this kit in 2017, but it was not my cup of a team, so I left it in the box. I think now it's time to finish it. The kit is in 72 scale. And the quality is not the worst, but the plenty of the details are simplified or just missing. You will see what I am talking about. Therefore, I will make only a few minor modifications. The seam lines do not fit perfectly, so you must smooth them with a nail file. I do not want to make the kit completely functional with the engine and moving parts, but I think I can add at least some LEDs. I have excellent micro diodes. I only recommend buying them with the wires, because it could be tricky to solder them. I must drill out a hole and one miner from the bottom side. This way the wires are going to be hidden. It is relatively easy modifications and the final effect is going to be lovely. I told you the kit is a little bit simplified. The coupling looks monolithic. I think small TT scale rail models have better details, therefore I am drilling out excess plastic with micro drill bits. This is the result for compression, but it is only one problem for many, so you must decide if it's worth it. I think it is better to drill small parts without gloves. You prevent small happy accidents like this. I use for filling seam lines super glue because it's more stable and harder than putty. If you want to be painstaking, you can remove all the details on the boiler and make new ones because almost all are wrong or simplified. I replace at least the handles and valves. You can make new valves from wires. I have a 3D printer, so I simply print in them. As you can see, they are a little bit better than the plastic ones. You can make the new valves from wires. I have a 3D printer, so I simply print in them. As you can see, they are a little bit better than the plastic ones. I always wanted to test the smoke effect for my models, and this kit is suitable for it. Also, I wanted to make the smoke generator by myself, but I found on eBay the whole smoke generator for $10. Maybe if I will need smaller, I will make it. Ok, let's paint the Krieg's locomotive. I am unifying surface with a grey primer. It will reveal a lot of imperfections that are essential to remove before the next painting. I decided to paint the chassis red. There is in the manual an option for the full grey version, but it doesn't look exciting. At this moment, I put the kit into the box and left it there for a few years. Meanwhile, I changed style and two apartments. 
One minor change is background color because the blue was horrible. So what with this old model? I try to paint a minor shading and repaint color with the paintbrush. You can achieve a nice shiny metal surface with a polishable metal powder. It is perfect for these wheels. I am making new wooden floor from balsa wood. In the kit is a flat and without texture at all. I want to insert flashing LED into the boiler for imitation of a fire. The aluminum foil will prevent the light shines through the plastic. I am making minor weathering with the oil paints. The black stains are from the coal. And the lovely detail is to add a real coal on the floor. I'm replacing the plastic handles with the metal ones. I use for this purpose old copper conductors. Ok, now the smoke and LEDs. I am extending the locomotive chimney for the smoke generator connection. Therefore I must only remove plastic from the bottom. The LEDs I connect to the base battery with the small pins. They fit nicely. The LEDs have extra thin wires, so you can easily hide them into the chassis. And flashing diode for imitation of a fire. It is a cool effect, but hardly visible. Insert the wires into the model is always a tricky when you do not have uh, too much space around. But it seems that it's working! Mm -hmm. 
The best imitation of a coil is a real coil. I only crush it into small pieces and fix it with a PV glue. I think the result is lovely. The last but not least step is minor weathering. I'm making dirt, dust, stains and leaks with a dark brown wash. I use oil paints in the second phase of the weathering. I can combine brown, blue and grey shades. Now I'm testing the smoke generator with the new glycerol liquid. Honestly, the smoke is extreme. I think too much for the indoor model. I must add some voltage regulators. I don't know, but the surface still looks very uniform. Let's experiment with the acrylic thinner and dilute a few layers together. It is a very dangerous technique and you can dilute the color to the primer or plastic. So you must be cautious. However, the final texture is better than I expected. The last touch for the locomotive is clear covers for lights. Indicate are missing. Ok, now very simple testing diorama. I want to make a larger diorama with the some train station, but always in the future. I am cutting out holes for the battery and smoke generator. In addition, two voltage regulators for reducing smoke, resistors for LEDs and two simple switches for LEDs and smoke. Ok, this is my longest project ever. Ok, not really. I have a few more older unfinished projects covered with the dust. However, I'm glad that I finished at least this one. You sometimes lose a mood and start instead something new, which is more fun to build. However, the final model is not the worst and the smoke and lights are pretty cool. Next time, maybe a sound module or microcontroller. That is all, thank you for watching and here's the final presentation.